I think this is our first uh, pre-season together. Yeah. But well, this is my first away with the first team. She's all first. Yeah, first. Um, so it's good to be together and that. And I think when we were growing up and stuff. Always uh, dreamed of it, but. Yeah, growing up and stuff, I think if someone said that we were going to uh, be on pre-season tour in Australia at 19, at 21 together, yeah. um, we would have been yes please, you know what I mean? So it's been a, a good journey. So obviously you didn't have much of a break, did you? Because the 21s, how was, how was the camp? Yeah, no, it was good. Um, I managed to get away on, on two holidays. Um, so although I had the, the camp with the yeah. 21s, um, it's been a good break, uh, a little bit less, but um, it's what it is really. Um, what about you, the Euros? Obviously you had a, a really good summer. Um, yeah. While I was away on, on my second holiday, we were watching you like, in the villa and stuff. Yeah. Um, obviously as a family and that, like, we were obviously so proud of you and it was good to watch you uh, play in the final and yeah. school. No, it was, it was a good good experience. Obviously we was away for like three weeks, so it's a long time. But with a team, it's, it's a different experience. And yeah. Obviously to go all the way. I don't think many people can say they won a Euro, so to say we've done it. The buzzing really. Mum and dad were watching as well when yeah. I was with them. And obviously everyone looked so proud and that. Yeah. Um, obviously dad went to the final. Yeah, good having uh, that there. Good having dad there to support you and yeah. that. Uh, dad's a big role model to me yeah, and, nice and to Aaron it. and to my little brother and my sister. Um, when we were younger, he used to test us, he used to push us like in the gym. Yeah, helped a lot, didn't it? Yeah. Um, like AJ said, uh, we had a little, little tussle like every now and then, but I think as we got older, that kind of like faded away and we just there to support each other. To be fair, <laughs> he's, he's, he's probably got a little bit more of a temper to me, like, like he can switch. Yeah. Whereas like, it probably takes me a lot more just to, to switch. But well, I, I say think, you, you won the most. Yeah, of course <laughs> I won the most. Um, but I think now, as we got older and that, that kind of gets yeah, pushed to the side, you know what I mean? Like everyone forgets about that. And that now, now it's just fighting the little one. Yeah, yeah, like we've got a little bit of a coal. Um, we kind of like not picking him, but like wind him up and stuff. Yeah. Um, but that's what brothers like do to each other. Yeah. So what was it like last season? Obviously, new player, player, young player of the season. You never had dreamed of that. Oh, you would have dreamed it, but never thought. Yeah, happen. man. Um, it was a great season for me personally. I think as a team, we probably a little underachieved. Yeah. Um, but looking at last season as a whole for me, like as an individual. Uh, my aim. I think the season before, I was like involved in in the team. I felt a little bit of the team. Sometimes I felt out of it. Some, sometimes I felt in the team. Um, I started. I think made six starts the season before and come on. Did about, you learn a lot? Like, yeah. Yeah. Massive. Um, massive. I think. Obviously, I was on loan like you yeah. in League One, and then uh, sort of like my plan was to go back up to the like, go to the Championship and work my way up. Yeah. Um, but I think I. I impressed well in pre-season and um, I found it tough. The difference from League One to the Prem yeah. uh, was massive. And I think in that, the, in that year, sorry, uh, I learned a lot um, coming from League One and going out alone. But I think without that, that period of, um, I think everyone could tell that I was a little bit low on confidence and stuff. Yeah. Um, so what was the difference last season then? Uh, just a bit more just keep some self-belief and yeah. Use that experience. Oh, did you feel more as a group? Yeah, yeah. I think definitely. I think I think uh, I thought I had another good pre-season. Uh, played good in, in the pre-season games, um, and then I was involved like, quite early on. I think I started. I think I come on at half time in the yeah. Watford game. You started. And then I started the Newcastle was the home, first home game. Yeah. And the atmosphere there. And I, think I remember being there. Yeah. Your name, wasn't yeah. Listening yeah. up my name and stuff. And obviously that felt great. Remember mum next to us. Yeah. <laughs> mum was there as well. Yeah. Whole family was there. Um, and then just kicked on really. Um, I think looking back at last season, the only thing that I could have probably done, I didn't like. Obviously, my first goal was a bit late. It was, yeah. a, it was the Arsenal goal uh, away, and that yeah. was like what I think maybe 12, 15 games like, into yeah. the season. And I think we both know growing up, I was like a, a goal scorer from midfield. So I think looking back, well, looking back from that season and looking onto this season, I think try and get as many goals like, early on. Yeah. Um, talking about loans, so obviously you went out on loan last season, how did you find it? Yeah, it's completely different obviously, you went through it, obviously being at Villa since you were seven, going out to a different environment, it opened your eyes a yeah. lot. I learned a lot because obviously being in the Villa environment, it's all 
you get everything, don't you? Yeah. Go out there, you have to do everything yourself. Um, I enjoyed it. It was different, and I think I learned a lot. And I think it was the next step. And I think everyone needs to take the next step. But I think I've grown out of going from a boy to a man. Yeah. So I think it was good. Yeah. Now I remember when the first conversations were happening, like. When I first went alone, I was like, a little bit scared. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Obviously, I spoke to you on the day when you moved out and said, "Just be yourself. Um, just like if you, even if you're, if you're not playing, um, or if you're not playing well, that you'll always yeah. use this experience to help you to try and push into Villa's first team." And like, I said to you, like, "There's there's no problem or no issue going out alone." Um, everyone's path to the first team or to Villa's first team is completely different. Yeah, um, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. nah. Um, what was it like playing with? Like, obviously, we were growing up watching like Philip Coutinho on TV. What was yeah, it like yeah, playing yeah. with him? Yeah, I think everyone knows that he's he's so humble and yeah. um, although he's like a bit loud like, on the pitch and yeah. stuff, with his feet quiet, and that. Yeah, 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 he's so quiet off the pitch. <laughs> yeah. um, to be fair, now nah, it was a big signing. I think I think everyone didn't expect it. Um, obviously. Steven Gerrard and being at our gaffer yeah. probably attracted him to, to the club. Um, but I think, uh, like you said, growing up watching him on, on TV and stuff, um, the first couple of games we kind of clicked together. Yeah. Especially that the United game and then we had the Leeds game, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. We're watching that too. Yeah, watching yeah. that. Uh, yeah, no, it was good, man, like playing all, all with, these, with, these, with these legends or these. Great players that we've no. grown up watching it together. Never thought you'd be on the same pitch. No, and I think, I no. think playing together. Yeah. One day, me and you will be on the pitch yeah. with, with Phil or with someone else who, who might come to the club and yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll look back at. On that topic, it, it was in growing up Villa, it was like you look up to. When when me and you started like, in the academy, like obviously I'm two years older than you, but when you was coming through as well, you must have been like under sevens yeah. and I was like, under nines. Back then it was like Benteke, it was Youngie, Youngie was still yeah. there, it was playing Youngie. left wing. Milner, yeah. Milner was there, Gareth Barry. Um, um, Gabby Bonnehall. Oh yeah, Gabby Bonnehall. And then as we got older, it was more like Jack. Yeah, Jack. Really shit. Yeah. Jack. Jack was more like the, the main man. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, that was another player. Um, we both grew up watching Jack. Yeah, and when we were both like in the like just around like the youth team and under 14s and stuff, about to go full time. Like Jack was, was always like, like the, yeah, the, yeah, star, the star, yeah. Jack, Jack was always like yeah. the one to, the one to, like him, yeah. to look at and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and look, we played with, like, I played with at the moment with some top players, Jack, um, yeah. who's come through the academy, Phil. Um, and I think now for you, it's just, just time just to kick on, yeah. whether it's alone um, or staying here and trying to fight for your place. Yeah. Um, I think whatever it is, I think you'll benefit from the loan from Cheltenham and, yeah, it, and it, it'll all come together. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so obviously when you were younger, I remember you were obviously two years older than me, I remember watching you goal scorer in midfielder. Yeah. What, what have you had to change in your game for first team football? Uh, I think um, a bit of patience. I think obviously I've always had that self belief that I was always going to be, uh, well, I'm still not it yet, but. I always thought I was always like a um, goal scoring midfielder. Yeah. Um, like you said, I've, we've both been growing up scoring loads of goals. Uh, that first season, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't uh, score at all. Yeah. Um, so just just self belief, really. I think um, obviously the Premier League's probably one of the well, the, the hardest league in the world. Yeah. Um, so just self belief, really. Um, I think uh, obviously at Cheltenham, you scored one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just it's just being first thing is being more like you want to be reliable, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you want the gaffer and the coach staff want to trust you. So the first aspect is make sure you're reliable. Yeah. And then when you do get the chance, so you, when you did get the chance, yeah, put yeah. In the back of the net. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, like we both watched each other. Like, what would you say you've improved on from like, under eight to? Uh, yes. Beating the youth team and into 23 and going out alone. Yeah, so I remember when I was young, I used to be a striker, <laughs> yeah. scored loads of goals. And then I remember I was one of the smallest playing against like, bigger players, so I had to adapt my game, change my game to take less touches so I don't get pushed off the ball. Yeah. And then I remember, I think two years ago, no, last season actually, not last season, the season before, two years ago, 
23s, at the start of the season I wasn't scoring many goals. Sat down with some of the coaching staff to try and get some more goals and then ended up scoring 12 goals yeah, in a month yeah. and getting player, player of the month. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Do you think that season you got a couple of them? Didn't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 I did I remember that. But obviously, you're doing it now in the Premier League, so. Yeah, yeah, no. I think, I think looking back, like how we've started together and, and gone up together, although like, our paths are but could, be, di could be completely, completely different. different yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, it's good to be here in Australia together in yeah, the first team. So. Um, but obviously, I'm always going to help you out yeah. to try and get to where. I was last season, or where I'm gonna go, or yeah. whatever. And then, or like, if you go up there, or, or whatever, you can always help me out. So yeah, I think it's good to always have like a good relationship together, and just to keep pushing each other. But while we're here, we might as well kick some balls in uh, Australia. Show the way then. <laughs> Do I bounce it or, or is it? Do you just kick it? Nice, Jay. Not bad. It's gonna go higher than that. Not bad, that. Not bad, that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find it now. <laughs>